inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un no doubt about it we belong to allah no doubt about it we belong to allah wa inna ilayhi raji'un and no doubt about it we are only going to be returned to him meaning we are going to be returned to our owner why why is this statement important when something difficult happens we have to think about the hikmah of why when the difficult thing comes why do we say inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un when you hear about some bad news on the phone, why is it the first time, the, the moment you say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un, first of all understand that if you do that, there's a real gift in it for you. In the Quran, there's a gift in it for you. First I wanna share this gift with you. You know what that gift is? In this ayah, Allah Azza wa Jal, in the ayah before, when I told you He commanded to congratulate the believers, Al-Amr fil Mufrad, La wa bashiru as sabirin Qal wa bashiru as sabirin fil Mufrad, it's singular. Congratulate the ones who have sabr. And that congratulations is singular. When Allah commands in the singular, it is actually a direct amr, direct command to Nabi Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Meaning Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam from his mouth is supposed to congratulate those who have sabr. And Allah Azza wa Jal now, and by the way, after this ayah, whoever says, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un, they, may Allah make us of them, when we are standing on Yawm al-Qiyamah, maybe we, we be among them, who the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa congratulates. Because this ayah is about the Rasul congratulating anybody who does this, alayhi salatu wasalam. And we want to earn his congratulations. You know, when, you, when your family says congratulations to you, it means one thing. When the principal of the school congratulates you, it's something else. When the dean of the school congratulates you at the inaugural ceremony, it's something else. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa will congratulate us sabirin and Allah has commanded him to do so, then we want to be from these people. That's the gift in this ayah. Now let's go back to inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Let's talk, give some examples. I know some of your problems may be much, much bigger than what I can give in my limited imagination. So you have to think about yourself as I give these examples. So I'm driving and I just got a new car, I'm driving and I had a, some car trouble and it just stalled and I'm, it's pulled over to the side. Now I'm angry, I paid good money for this car. How could this happen? I'm missing so much work. Stuck here in the middle of the heat, the heater's not, you know, the AC's not even working and it's sunny and you know, all of this stuff. I'm thinking all of this stuff. First thing I think to myself, as a believer, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Why? Because I remind myself, I'm angry at this car because I own it. I own it, I'm the owner. But I'm reminding myself, actually, I own nothing. I myself am owned. Allah owns me. I no doubt belong to Allah. How can I complain about anything? Because I'm not an owner of anything. You see, people get mad when they're entitled. When it was your turn, you deserved it. When it was your phone, your, your phone's not working, your car's not working, the lights aren't turning on. When you deserve something, then you get angry when you don't get it. But in the ayah, inna lillah, you first acknowledge I deserve nothing. I belong to Allah. Allah deserves, I don't deserve. It puts things at ease. Everything you get in this life is then a gift. It's not something you earned, it's a gift. So when you don't have it, then you realize, well, it wasn't mine anyway. <laughs> it wasn't mine anyway. We take our hands for granted, we take our eyes for granted, we take our nose for granted, we take our tongue for granted, the fact that I'm standing here speaking before you, I take the fact that I can speak to you for granted. But this tongue, it doesn't belong to me. I didn't pay for it. It belongs to Allah. So when it starts stuttering, inna lillah. Inna lillah. And, what, and the second part of this problem, the, how Allah gives solutions in, in our, our faith, the wisdom of the statements Allah gave us when difficulty comes. The second statement is, wa inna ilayhi raji'un. No doubt about it, to Him alone we're going to be returning. Why is that important? Because whatever problem you're having right now isn't permanent. Whatever problem you're having isn't permanent. Whether it's money problems, or health problems, or family problems, or it's emotional problems, or physical problems, it doesn't matter. None of them are permanent. You know why? Because you and I are not permanent. Even you and I aren't permanent. How can our problems be permanent? We have to be returned to Allah ourselves. So this problem is nothing. Forget this problem, I will leave. Not only will this problem not be around, I won't be around, I will be returned back to Allah. Things are put in perspective. Putting things in perspective makes you worry about what really matters. When you don't put things in perspective, you can focus on the wrong thing. My teacher used to always give the example, if you're standing in a building, and the building is on fire, and you're in that building, and you're debating which color should we paint this wall? 
I think blue goes better with the gray. Guy, the building's on fire. You need some water first. Take the fire out, get out of the building. They're priorities, you understand? When you understand the bigger picture, there's a larger problem, and the larger problem is we haven't acknowledged that we belong to Allah. Maybe sometimes you and I go through difficulty just so Allah can put it back in your heart that you and I belong to Allah. Maybe you and I are going through some challenges just so Allah would give us the gift that we would be able to not just say with our tongue, but say with our heart, Inna ilayhi raji'un. That's a gift in and of itself. And that, that is, if we can internalize that, that makes sabr easy. And if you, you and I can have sabr, Allahumma ja'alna min as-sabirin. If we can have sabr, then the, the congratulations of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa is for us.